Start by taking a piece of A4 paper and a non-toxic pencil. Now I'm placing my angel wings on a four inch round cake. So I'm actually using the base of that cake tin as a guide. So if you were to do an eight inch round cake, then you want to draw half of an eight inch round circle. It's just to help you get the wings to the correct size. Once you've drawn this circle, simply draw your wings like I am doing here. Keep it very simple. They don't need to be too pointy and you don't need too many of them because we're going to be repeating this process quite a lot and that helps build up the detail on the wings. And this is the sort of shape that you're aiming to achieve. Now you're going to need some edible rice paper. By placing the rice paper, also known as wafer paper, directly over the image that you have just drawn, simply go over it and just trace. You only need to draw one wing because for the other side, you simply flip the rice paper in the other direction. You want to draw a minimum of eight of these directly onto your wafer paper. And again, this is what you will end up achieving. Now, taking some very sharp scissors. I'm using some very small ones here that have only ever been used on food. I tend to use them on my sugar lace. You will literally need to cut out every single wing. Be careful. Wafer paper is not too fragile. The humidity will not affect it. It's great to work with, but just be careful that you don't rip any of it accidentally. Cut out all eight of your wings. Here I am using the Rainbow Dust Silver Metallic 100% edible paint. And all you want to do, taking a very fine brush, is simply go around the edges of your wing. So you want to do the top, the bottom, and then all of the tips on the wing, just to give it that perfect finishing touch. Try not to add too much paint. Um, the moisture from the paint can make the wafer paper bend slightly. However, because we're making wings, when the wafer paper does start to bend, to me, it just looks more authentic. It makes them look more pretty. So simply go around the edges like I'm doing here with all eight of your wings. And this is what they will all look like when you have completed painting each of them. Taking some cooled down boiled water for hygiene reasons, we're now going to layer these angel wings up. Now, just by using a small amount of water, it will stick to the other piece of wafer paper. You want to do it just like I'm doing here directly on the tutorial. So it's not completely touching the bottom. The wings are in a slightly different position and it's further in. If you do this with all four of your wings on either side, it will give that beautiful flying effect. Simply repeat this process for each of the wings and build them up. The only thing we need to do now is stick these beautiful wings directly onto our cake. So here's a little bit of a close-up of what you have just created and I'm now going to stick it to the cake again using some cooled down boiled water. You just want to place a little bit directly onto your angel wings and then once it is actually on the cake you can add more water once it's on there. This will eventually dry, it will be lovely and hard. The humidity, as mentioned before, will not affect them in any way, shape or form. They are a fantastic thing to use and they would look amazing on unicorn cakes. 
I just want to mention the writing on the front of this cake. This is actually down as a separate tutorial. I am personally not that good with paint brushes with a very steady hand. So I have come up with a very simple, easy way where you can place any sort of text directly onto your cake using a very simple tool. This is available as a separate tutorial and I will leave a link for this tutorial for you in the description below this video if you want to learn how to write perfectly onto your cakes, no brushes needed. As you can see, I'm just manipulating the wing once it's directly on there, giving it a little bend so that it sticks out more. And then you simply just want to repeat this process with your final angel wing. And they really are as simple as that. Happy baking, everyone. And I will be back soon with more new content.